Así mi lengua me ayude. A song to St. Anthony. Sung here for 90 years. We always had a song to sing about San Antonio. Benji Lopez and Stella Lucero are lifelong members of the Iglesia de San Antonio in Tiffany, Colorado. It was built in 1928. I was born in 1929. I was told that me and one of my nieces were the first babies baptized here. In 1929. The Catholic Church is a cornerstone of life for many in southwestern Colorado. It was built by the people. They made some adobe and they built the church. Churches like this graced many small towns which were settled as people moved north from New Mexico. Hispanic folks came into the area coming up into Colorado through the San Luis Valley. The communities that existed were on railroads or on rivers. And this was one of the little ones on a railroad. The railroad stopped running in the 1950s, and many of those early Hispanic communities vanished. A lot of the truly historic southwest Colorado communities are under Navajo Reservoir. They were flooded. So they're gone. And so to have a church that's still active in an old building that's adobe in southern Colorado, southeast of Durango, is pretty exciting. It's got these great Gothic windows. It was built by local people to serve their local needs. For historians, preserving the church saves an important chapter in history. One of the needs that's broader than the church is the recognition in our community of the contribution that Hispanics have made to our county, La Plata County. And this is the last building that really represents that Hispanic component. The music is just so beautiful, you know, when you have mass. For Margaret Lucero, preserving the church is personal. I remember my dad mixing the, the straw and the mud in water and stuccoing the, the walls. Her parents took care of the building in her youth. She's been taking care of the building since 2012. You know, since it was the part of my history and uh, so many others' uh, history behind me, I'd like to preserve it for the future generations. There are definitely challenges facing the building. The outdoors, every year you, you see more and more stucco coming off. Every little area is becoming very fragile, ready to crumble. To parishioners of San Antonio, taking care of the church comes as naturally as taking care of family. When we have to come and clean the church, it wasn't like a chore. It was a privileged feeling. Mom made us understand the honor in doing that kind of job. This physical structure stands for putting your best foot forward for mom and dad. As Tony Simler pulls the bell rope in honor of her parents, the bell rings out to the community, calling them not just to worship, but to come together to preserve a piece of Colorado's history. Being a soul does mean that it's holding up the way I am. <laughs> It is important to me. The church, the building, and the heart of the church are in good shape because of the people who've taken care of them. It's joy and peace that something, something so traditional is still here.